Okay, here's a video for all you people who are having lots of connecting issues. I think a lot of you missed uh, our main idea lesson yesterday. And let's just remind ourselves of what we mean by a main idea. Now, a main idea is like the like the one central point that a article is making. All right, it's the one point. That it's trying to get across and then throughout the article or a paragraph or whatever it is we're reading there's details that you know support the main idea all the details all the details uh support this one main idea so for example Let's say I read this article about um, these dogs. And on, let's say it's a, it's a paragraph, like just a page. And there's all these details that, like we could say, dogs um, help disabled people. And we could say there's another maybe there's another detail dogs help sick people feel better i mean not actually get better but you know feel better like cheer them up make them happier and that you know helps them to get well like in a hospital they're called therapy dogs um dogs help police crime and then we read you know like let's say in this article we're talking about those military dogs military dogs help soldiers in war zones well so what's the one so let's say if this article we're reading about these dogs doing all these different things. What's the one thing that they're all talking about? Dogs helping disabled people. Dogs helping people who are sick feel better. Dogs who help police fight crime. Military dogs who help soldiers in war zones. Well, you can see that these are all jobs that dogs do. So maybe the main idea of this article is that dogs can perform many jobs you know, for people. Or maybe it's, you know, dog, many dogs are trained to help people, you know, but at, whatever it is, the main point is all these details support the idea that dogs can do lots of jobs. They can be trained for lots of jobs to help people, like helping disabled people, helping sick people feel better, helping the police, helping soldiers, all right? So they all, all these details tie to this same idea. So that's what we are looking at in this lesson here. So what we'll do is we make like a, this is a graphic organizer, like a web where the main idea is always in the middle. And then the details are out here. You know, they all kind of, all the details feed in to the main idea. While all these details are separate from each other, all these are separate details, they all have one thing in common. They all are related to this. They all tie to this, all right? They all support this. So I can make this bigger. Nope. Made my, made my page a little too big. So let's try this with an article here. Um, let me cover up this other stuff so it doesn't distract you. And we have talked about, you know, how you can find the main idea in paragraphs by looking for a topic sentence, you know, the one sentence that tells what the whole paragraph's about. You might find in these, it's not stated so obviously. You might have to make an inference to figure out what the main idea is. So I'm just covering this up so it doesn't distract us. So I think this might be an example of that, of how 
the main idea in here, you're going to have to read all the details and then decide what the main idea is. It won't be written as a sentence. So let's take a look. Have you ever heard of Portuguese water dogs? Years ago, many fishing boats carried a Portuguese water dog. If someone fell into the water, the dog would jump in and save the person. The water dog also helped the, with the fishing. It chased schools of fish into the fishing nets. The water dog was a kind of telephone at sea, too. It carried messages from boat to boat. All right. So let's look at the key details in this article. One key detail is, um, uh, we'll say that uh, fishing boats carried Portuguese water dogs. That's one important detail, I think. And then another detail over here. Um, dogs would uh, save people who fell in the water. What else? Let's see. Um, oh, they helped with the fishing. They chased schools of fish into the nets. So we could say the dogs helped with fishing. I mean, we don't we don't need to get real specific. We could have just said the dogs would chase fish in the nets. I mean, or to say that they help with fishing. We don't need to get real specific. The bottom line, they helped with the fishing, right? Anything else? Let's look. The water dog was kind of a telephone at sea, too. It carried messages from boat to boat. All right. So we'll just say we won't do the like it's like a telephone. We'll just say the main point they're making is the dogs would carry messages from boat to boat, right? So let's think of all these details we have now. We have that many fishing boats would carry Portuguese water dogs and the dogs, they would save people in the water. They would, they, dogs would save, whoops, I forgot a word in there. They would save people who fell in the water. Sorry about my sloppy writing. Another detail, the dogs helped with the fishing. And also the, the dogs would send, would carry, I keep forgetting words. They would carry messages from boat to boat. So all these things, what were they doing? They were riding on the boat, jumping in the water, getting people out of the water who fell in, helping with the fishing, carrying messages from boat to boat. Well, let's think. In this article, it sounds like these are all ways that they want you to see that the Portuguese water dog was very helpful to fishermen. So I think that's the main idea they're making here. The Portuguese water dogs were very helpful to fishermen. All right. So that's what we're doing here. All these details came from the paragraph. And they all support this one idea. These are all ways that the Portuguese water dogs were very helpful to fishermen. You know, uh, I guess this really wasn't. This just tells that they were on the boat. I thought that was important. But this, you know, they would save people who fell in. They would help with the fishing by chasing fish in the nets. They would uh, carry messages from boat to boat. These are all very helpful things to, to fishermen. All right. So that's what we're trying to do here. Find the main idea. What I want you people to do, a lot of you don't have it done yet, is we have this article here. Well, no, we're not going to do that article. It's actually this article here about a pedometic, and this article over here about the Gila monster. You'll see that these two articles are in Seesaw, and you have a web to fill out to show what you think the main idea is in each of those paragraphs, all right? So 
So I'm looking for you people to get that assignment done. Hopefully you do. All right. And that's what we mean by main idea.